Welcome back, True Seeker. It is Friday, March 22nd, infamous date in history, 2024, and the body of 22-year-old Riley Strain, who disappeared March 8th after last being seen at Luke Bryan's bar in Nashville, has been recovered in the river. And of course, we just mentioned this the other day, how it was likely that his body would be found on March 22nd. Once again, this is a fateful day. Uh, last three years in the college basketball tournament, in light of talking about a college student in the time of March Madness, you've had big headlines on March 22nd about star Jesuit basketball players being dead. Um, it was Elgin Baylor of Seattle U announced dead at age 86, right before Baylor won the championship with 86 points over the other Jesuit program out of Washington State, Gonzaga. The year after that, the St. Peter's Peacocks went on a Cinderella story run, getting their first win on St. Patrick's Day and their last win on National Peacock Day. And then Del Nardo Webster, their greatest player in history, died on March 22nd. And then last year, Creighton was the last surviving Jesuit school in the March Madness tournament. And then what was buzzing was Paul Silas, former star player from Creighton, he died actually the day prior, but in the news, March 22nd, his passing. And I hope they don't do the same thing this year. I hope that's not another headline coming today, another former great basketball player, Jesuit, dead. And, and let's not forget what they did to Bill Russell, also Jesuit educated, who died on the last day of the Jesuit Ignatian year. But yes, Riley Strain, the 22-year-old, now found dead on March 22nd. And if you missed the video we did the other day, um, all his number, we talked about Riley Strain's disappearance and why he would likely be found dead, as well as the death of the two NHL players on the same day, all things buzzing in the headlines around the same time. And it's a little after the 18-minute mark in that video where we talk about his passing. We'll go back and look at that. We'll also look at what YouTube did because YouTube made sure nobody saw this video. Again, I, I don't get views anymore, but I noticed that video that morning was getting pretty good views and then it got age restricted and then it pretty much got no more views, which is what happens when your video gets age restricted. But we're going to go back and look at what they said was the problem in the video. We're going to go back and watch this section of the video that they said was the problem. And um, again, I just want to remind people, this work is under severe censorship. I mean, go back and listen to what I said at the end of that video, just ranting about the March Madness tournament and Lute Olson's death at age 85, the Arizona great who started at Long Beach State, who was the first team to score 85 points in the 85th tournament, Arizona over Long Beach State. Again, if you guys are new here, we've been doing this for a decade, calling the news before it happens, laying down the code for what's really going on in the world. And um, again, back when this channel has been deleted 20 sometimes, that's why it's Gematria Effect News 25. But again, had our growth trajectory continued like it was 2016, 2017, I mean, by now we'd have, I don't know, we'd probably have tens of millions of, of subscribers. But because of the algorithm and the censorship, we now have a channel that, you know, nets about 1.5K views per video. And I think it's better than that because, again, anytime a video posts, It'll have 50 likes and 20 views, which shows the algorithms doing something to hide the views. But yeah, it is very frustrating because I've been at this every single day for over a decade because I'm just so sick of watching this stuff go on. These obvious number rituals when there's secret societies all over this nation that identify by numbers like Order 322, Skull and Bones, known as the Brotherhood of Death, which is why we said to look out for this ritual today on March 22nd with the 22-year-old. Again, he disappeared on the eighth day of the third month. And notice where it fits in with, with Skull and Bones Order 322. In Gematria, again, there's a song out there, Gematria, the killing name, where it's about killing is the sport of the elite. It's this fun little hobby. But in this little code of ABC123, again, if you're new here, there's four base ciphers. We're going to go over all of them again like we did in the last video, like we do in almost every video, because there's always, always somebody new to this. But Brotherhood of Death has this numerical value of 83. The word murder, again, has the numerical value of 83 and 38. March 8th can be written 83 or 38. Look at the movie poster for Murder by Numbers. They code the 83 right in the letters. Look at the song Murder by Numbers by the police that came out in 83. Again, Stuart Copeland of that band, his daddy's CIA. 
A lot of people I can always tell when they're new here because I'll leave that coming. They're like, did you know that Stuart Copeland of the police, his father was in the CIA? Oh, yeah. Tr trust me, we've been talking about that for the last decade. That song being put out by the police was not an accident. We've talked about so many suspicious. Because, again, you guys, why are the police always finding the bodies by the numerical code? You don't think the police knew where his body was the whole time? Give me a break. This is a ritual. They've known where it was since it disappeared 14 days ago. What's dead equal in Gematria? 14. It's an easy one. D's the fourth letter. E's the fifth. A's the first. D's the fourth. Add it together. Dead. 14. The word end with numerology applying is also 14. The end of the drama. The body found dead 14 days later on March 22nd. And the most simple cipher, death, is 38. The Brotherhood of Death disappeared on March 8th. Now, as we talked about, he disappeared 33 weeks after Luke Bryan's 47th birthday. And again, the Masons studied the 47th problem of Euclid. Today, today has a life lesson number of 33 in date numerology. You get that by adding 3 plus 22, the month plus the day, that's 25. And then you add the year digit by digit. So it's 2024. 20, so that's plus two, plus zero, plus two, plus four, which is plus eight more. So you have 25 plus eight, 33. Today's got a life lesson number. Of course, 33 would break down to six, three plus three, six. But in light of today's life lesson number 33, another nickname for order 322, Skull and Bones, the alumni are referred to as Bonesmen. Bonesman has the gematria of 33, like police, like masonry, like federal, like secrecy, like order. Again, you go back and watch the video. Everything we laid down in that video, these numbers, you're seeing how they're all coming back today, which is why we imagine that this could very well happen today. Again, this whole gematria thing comes from Kabbalah. Kabbalah's physical model is the tree of life, which has three pillars and 22 paths. Genesis 322 mentions the tree of life. 322, here we are on 322. And let's not forget that in that same cipher, Genesis equals 33. If you just take the alphabetic order, in the beginning equals 137, which is the 33rd prime. And that's what Genesis means. It means in the beginning. It also means seed. And with the alphabetic order, seed is 33. 33, special number, 33 bones in the human vertebrae. Now we're talking about the sacrifice of a person. In the same cipher, people and person equal 33. Society equals 33. Controlling society by a code. Putting out the constant fear, death, negative vibrations to keep people in a certain state. They know people in a state of fear are more easily controlled. You know, they know that they'll consume more too. We're controlled by a monetary system, materialism. They know fearful people will buy more stuff. Security products and beyond. Needless jabs they don't need. Needless masks they don't need. Needless gloves they don't need. Needless hand sanitizer they don't need. I remember when they, they started the pandemic with their big 33 ritual, they were telling everybody to sanitize everything with Clorox. Uh, maybe you should look into Clorox. It's actually one of the most deadly things you can have in your household. It has so many carcinogens in it. Hand sanitizer kills your good hand bacteria. These people are scaring you out of your senses into their agenda. By a code. Let's not forget when uh, George W. Bush, the Bonesman, Skull and Bones, Brotherhood of Death. Let's not forget when he graduated from Yale and Skull and Bones in 1968, the same year 911 was made, the emergency dialing code. The same year World Trade Center construction began in New York. The same year 2001, a Space Odyssey came out. The same year the New York Jets had their rigged Super Bowl season, their only one, all 33 years before 9-11, 2001, when it all came into being. 9-11, Patriot Act, Patriots. The New York Jet, Mo Lewis, wrecking Drew Bledsoe, bringing on, you know, the, the most obvious actor there ever was in the rigged NFL, Tom Brady, who moves as slow as a snail. Let's not forget Tom equals 33. A anyway, today's got the 33 date numerology. Now, notice he was found in the Cumberland River, which equals 165, like Scottish Rite. And what's the highest degree of the Scottish Rite? 33. What are the three degrees of the Scottish Rite? 31, 32, 33. We're going to get to why that matters in a second. The, all three of those degrees. We, we just talked about it with Luke Bryan's bar because his bar is called what? Bridge 32. And it's at the address 301. 
301 is a lot like 31. The degrees of the Scottish Rite are 31, 32, 33. Cumberland River, the small way is 75, like Riley Strain is 75. Today is 96 days after the Pope's birthday. Notice how Cumberland River is also 96. These are the four base ciphers. With the alphabetic order, Cumberland River is 165. With the alphabetic order in numerology, Cumberland River is 75. With the reverse alphabetic order, 240. That's a bit like 24. Here we are in 2024, where that's been a hot number this year. And then in reverse numerology, Cumberland River is 96. Again, Freemason equals 96. The highest degrees, or the three degrees of the Scottish Rite, sum to 96. Lessons we talked about many a times. In light of the 75 and this being synced with the Pope, again, we're on a calendar named after the Pope. He's the first Jesuit Pope. Freemasonry, modern Freemasonry, that is, is a Jesuit creation. Jesuit priests wrote the rites for the Scottish Rite. Not to mention Pope Francis equals 58 and 59 like Freemasonry. And Pope Francis became a Jesuit in 1958. And Benedict stepped down on the 59th day of the year for him. And the 59th presidential election, Joe Biden was elected number 46, exactly 46 weeks after the Pope's birthday. When Catholics 46, again, just to remind, we're on a calendar named after the Pope. 52 weeks in the year for the Pope. Pope equals 52. But so many big rituals and big headlines are perfectly coordinated with the Pope's birthday, including this one. And don't forget, Catholic Church is 75, like Roman Catholic. Again, going with Riley Strain and Cumberland River. And let's not forget March Madness. They they changed the name to that in the year 85. Basketball equals 85, like the Jesuit motto, Jesus Omnum Salvatore, who won the first March Madness under that name. The Catholic school Villanova beat the Jesuit school Georgetown. Notice um, Thomas Luther Bryan, Luke Bryan's full name, 76 just like Skull and Bones has the 76. And think about it. Today's the anniversary of the Georgia Guidestones going up March 22nd, 1980. Skull and Bones, Order 322, the Brotherhood of Death, where the alumni are bonesmen. Remember what day the Georgia Guidestones came down? They came down on George W. Bush's 76th birthday, July 6, 76. That was 201 days after the Pope's birthday or the Pope's 202nd day of his age. Skull and Bones equals 201 and 202. Goes with Paul Walker, again, the movie The Skulls, about Skull and Bones, which he was in, which came out right before Bush won election. That movie came out 201 days after his birthday or on his 202nd day of his age. Paul Walker, George Walker Bush, George Herbert Walker Bush. Paul Walker dies in a red Porsche in a mysterious death, just like he gets a red Porsche in the movie about Skull and Bones. Five years to the day of George Herbert Walker Bush dying on the same day, November 30th, when 11 plus 30 is 41. And Skull and Bones the other way equals 41. Number 41 in Skull and Bones, the guy born on 7-6 in Skull and Bones, also president. Both the Bushes and presidents in Skull and Bones. Go back and watch uh, Tim Russert ask Bush and Kerry in 2004 when they were running for president. What were the odds that these two guys were the front runners and both members of Skull and Bones order 322? And he asked them both, what can you tell me about that 322? And they both laughed and said, well, not much because it's a secret. CNN reports the body of University of Missouri student who went missing after leaving a downtown Nashville bar two weeks ago was found Friday, disappeared on a Friday, March 8th. And again, March 8th was full of death stories from Oregon to the Boeing employee suicide. It was found Friday in the Cumberland River, police said. There were no signs of foul play. Oh, mind you, the police, murder by numbers. Listen to that song. Riley Strain, 22, was on a weekend trip to the Tennessee city when he was kicked out of Luke's 32 Bridge. Country singer Luke Bryan's bar on March 8th, authorities said. Strain's friends and family had since been unable to reach him and police searches had been unsuccessful. All right, so let, let's just go back and um, again, I, I'd encourage anyone to go back and watch this whole video. And let me make sure we got the sound settings right here. Okay, I think we got, 
Oh, I, I'm, I'm holding a mic for a mic I'm not speaking into. Hilarious. I'm, I'm speaking into my... <laughs> I don't need this mic because I'm not talking into it. My bad. Um, I'm speaking into my backup mic. There hasn't been enough sleep in recent days. There's been too much of a grind with too much work to cover. But okay, we're on the right mic for um, for what we need to play. So here, it's like, we'll listen about 15, 20 seconds. You'll hear what I'm saying about, you know, March 22nd coming up and Riley Strain's 22-year-old body. Chris Simon has the gematria of 62, like sacrifice. We just talked about where this fit in with Riley Strain and what happened to him in Nashville, Tennessee. It remains to be seen if they're going to find his corpse this Friday on the 22nd of March. Since he's 22 years old, again, 322 is important, a Kabbalah. Three pillars, 22 paths. And in Genesis 322, the tree of life's mentioned, the physical model for Kabbalah, and knowing good and evil. And both of those verses in the New International Version and the King James Version, despite the different wording, equate to 322, like ancient mystery religions, like Abrahamic religions. Okay, now in the case of Chris Simon. All right, so we mentioned that part uh, about, again, just, and it's something we've talked about a million times. And there's all kinds of things in this stream, like uh, just even closing it out here off topic, but just, again, reminding people how much this knowledge applies to. For example, go back and watch what I said about Bitcoin. I said it'll be at 72000 by the 72nd day of the year. And if you've made a big profit, make sure you take out your profit and secure your winnings because it's likely going to go down after that. And sure enough, it's gone way down. Again, Bitcoin equals 72 like money, like Jesuit order. And, and we know that the Jesuits run Bitcoin. We've been proving that for a long time now, making a lot of correct calls on Bitcoin. And when I said that, you know, the the, uh, the majority of responses were like, bruh, Bitcoin. I think, I think that would Bitcoin's going to 150,000 right now, bruh. <laughs> it, it might eventually get there one day. But like I said, pull out after 72. It's probably going to drop back down. It did. And now it's like hovering around 60,000. You can buy back in there if you think it's now going to shoot back up. But I still got morons arguing with me. They're like, I'm not going to ride it out, bruh, because it's going up to 150. It's like, well, you should have took my advice because you could have made a better profit, bruh. Anytime somebody starts a sentence with bra, I know that the IQ department is, is real small up in their head. But anyway, here, let, let's just listen to what we were saying about March Madness and the obvious death ritual with Lute Olsen because this goes on every year in 85. And then let's just, you know, let's now here we are in the future. And man, Arizona was the first team to score 85. Let's just listen. That's why this video is, this is why this channel is so censored. Dropping nothing but facts and nailing the future day after day for 10 years, more than 10 years straight now, approaching 11 years. The way they've made the algorithm, it's like 10 views counts as one view on this channel. So. Shout out to Rick James again, too, always with generosity. Appreciate that, Rick. But yeah, uh, if you guys do want to support the work, link's in the description. And if you're into March Madness, uh, the the big, well, we did our first big March Madness stream yesterday. And we'll be doing our, our, our next big March Madness stream later today, 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 Eastern. Again, remember, the tournament always pays tribute to history. This is the 85th edition of the tournament. It's the Final Fours in Arizona where Lute Olsen, the great coach, died at 85 recently. And how funny that Arizona's playing Lute Olsen's original college in the opening round. And if you guys missed my call uh, in a little a couple of weeks back, I said, watch, Arizona probably going to beat Arizona State with 85 points. And sure enough, they did because Arizona State's hosting the Final Four, and that's how scripted it all is. Don't forget basketball equals 85, like the Jesuit motto Jesus Sominum Salvatore in the first March Madness when it went by that name was in 85 and the Jesuit school Georgetown lost to the Catholic school Villanova Wildcats. But you go back and look in 85, who hosted the final four in 85? Was it another state that has a Wildcats? Was it Kentucky? Did Kentucky host the final four in 85? The Wildcats were the Villanova Wildcats were and now Arizona that has a Wildcats is hosting. So Anyway, you pay attention to all the clues, you can start to see the way the games are scripted. And again, it's not an accident that Lute Olson died at 85, and it's not an accident that Arizona opens against Long Beach State, this wild story that snuck into the tournament. And again, for all of you guys out there who, who are like, I don't like the way they do the seating and bracket, it seems rigged. It's not that it seems rigged, it's that it is rigged. 
Indican. So, again, I mean, I've been making the same points day after day. But, yeah, if you guys aren't paying attention to the tournament, I'll just show you yesterday. First team to score 85 was Arizona. So, right now you have an 85 in, in the west region where Arizona is. And you have an 85 region in the east region because Illinois also dropped 85. And Illinois is one of our other very interesting narratives we're keeping an eye on. But, yeah, first 85 of the tournament, Arizona. Only happened in one other score yesterday, and it was Illinois, which didn't surprise us either. Again, you want more information, support the work, join the Patreon. I don't charge very much. You know, you got people charging hundreds of dollars for their subscription service for information that literally isn't a fraction as good as mine. It's like, again, that's I, I, maybe that was the mistake to not charge way more because people are signing up for the $100 a month thinking they're going to get what they paid for. You're not. You know, I, I might charge $5 a month. The shit's worth $5,000 a month. How much are you paying for your college education? Tens of thousands a year. I guarantee you the stuff we're teaching is way more valuable than you're going to learn at any university. That's not to say, you know, don't go to school to be an engineer or learn some great skill because that obviously has a, a whole lot of worth. But I'm just saying the knowledge that we're teaching literally applies to everything in this uh, culture that we live in that comes through the screens. Rig stock market, rig crypto market, rig sports market, rig news, rigged elections. Tell me one other subject where you can take that learning and apply it to that many things. And, and you know what? There's also like a spiritual side to this too and an organic side, which is also huge. So, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a joke. <laughs> we always call Tennessee the 34 state. You see how Tennessee blew out St. Peter's by 34 points? Tennessee equals 34 like murder, which goes with Riley Strain disappearing in Tennessee. That's something to think about, too, since this is a college-related story with the biggest college sports event of the year going on. Day two of the tournament, opening rounds. And by the way, here's another story that's hilarious. A college uh, and pro athlete is, is a national headline today about having one of the best brackets in the country. You know where he's from? He's from Tucson, Arizona. Went to Texas, both teams that won yesterday. So, again, Bijan Robinson, you know, no doubt this is some scripted news story, just paying more tribute to Arizona. And, and by the way, in light of Phoenix hosting the Final Four for the 85th tournament, they do this stuff year after year if you pay attention. You see how Phoenix, Arizona is 85 and 68, just like basketball is 85 and 68. And you see how basketball is 185 and 68, so is Catholicism. So is mathematics. 185 matters to us as humans because we're 18.5% carbon. And again, the, the Jesuits and the Catholic Church have always, they run everything in this nation. It's bigger than them running the college basketball tournament. So here, for one more thing, I just want you to see why YouTube age restricted the video. So they said it, they said the, the video was age restricted because of what you said at 2337. So let's just go, let's go there and see what the great big offense was that required this video to be age restricted, which cut off the views that it was getting. Let's go back and see the great offense. Oh yeah, the following content may contain suicide or self-harm topics. Well, we're only talking about a news story of a player supposedly committing suicide. Did, did this happen to CNN or any mainstream news networks video covering the suicide of the hockey player? How come? How come it didn't happen to their videos? <laughs> Anyway, let's see. understand how faithful that 144 number is. Again, Lincoln shot on 14 slash 4, 4 after blaming. The... Again, realize we just jumped to 2337 in the video where they said the offense was. Here, let's even go just a few seconds before that. Let's, let's just go to what the video got censored for. But they got to make sure they tell you about the 144 games. Once again, they got to keep bringing up the numbers. People don't understand how faithful that 144 number is. Again, Lincoln shot on 14 slash 4, 4 after blaming. The Civil War on the Jesuits. JFK, 144 days from the Pope. RFK, 1.44 a.m. And, and, and a long list. I, I mean, remember last year on the day leaving 144 days left near? We were talking about at the beginning of the day while there was an assassination scare for Joe Biden. President Biden, by the way, equals 144. He's Jesuit educated. Let's not forget Jesuit Georgetown simulated the 2020 election June 12, 2020, 144 days before the election that Biden would win. But remember uh, August 9th, the day leaving 144 days left in the year, we were talking about that Biden story in the morning. And then by the end of the day, there was an assassination in Latin America for a presidential hopeful. And, and he had all the 63 connections too, like JFK was smoked in 63. 
and R.I.P. to the dead Kennedys drummer who died recently at age 63. So anyway, that, that's what we got censored for. So I, I guess that's what the kids can't hear. The truth. God. But yeah, a, a, again, um, for all you guys who continue to uh, watch the struggle over here, the censorship, the lack of support, the lack of resources, and know this message is important, um... You know, man, if one of these months you can just find that dollar in your pocket instead of the lint, it would be super helpful. And, and realize, there's a reason there's a pack of trolls always hounding here being like, Oh, Zach's always begging. What I'm begging for is, is to change the world. You know, is there anyone else in the world right now that's, that's proven that they'll be here every single day for over a decade straight dropping nothing but facts? Is there anyone who have you ever seen go to the base of the World Trade Center on 9-11 and just drop nothing but facts all day long? For eight hours straight? Have you ever seen it? Oklahoma Look what happened when we went to Oklahoma City for the anniversary of the big Jesuit blow up of uh, the building on, on Ignatius Loyola Day. They, they were waiting for me there. Uh, again, that's the problem. It's like the, the feds, the agencies, they're all watching nonstop. They got, they're employing all kinds of trolls and harassers to just mess with us every day. There's probably, it, it would probably be sad to see the millions of dollars spent on the network of trolls that harass 24-7, 365, compared to the pennies that have come in to actually help out the movement. And, and that's the problem. It's like, we're up, we are up against a machine, so people need to do something to support and help the work. This morning, I went to check out my P.O. box for the first time. I was imagining there'd be something there since I set it up more than two weeks ago. You know how many letters were in the P.O. box, you guys? Zero. A big fat zero. And I, I did the video, you know, when I got the new P.O. box, and it's, it's linked in the description. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's the problem over here. There are just not enough people who care or want to do anything or, or help get this work to where it needs to be. And meanwhile, scammers are out there everywhere charging hundreds of dollars for their shit stock picks and their useless information. And here, pay me 300 because Bitcoin's going to 150000 it's like we just dropped for free the best knowledge, literally the best knowledge on the whole internet about what Bitcoin was going to do, what came right from this channel again. And that's happened a lot of times for free. So, why, why are we not allowed to flourish like other channels? Because we're actually dropping facts. We're actually proving what's going on in the world. Major consequences for that. That's, that's the one thing you can't do. So... Shout out to uh, Mike Rawson. Appreciate it. Thanks for being a member for 10 months. Shout out to Paul of the Kitchen Witch, who's always super generous. Keep up the great work, bruh. Bro. <laughs> right. Right. Like, all you young people out there, stop sounding like such clones. Stop being a, a bot. Like, I can always tell when it's a young person, because all you guys start your sentence with bro or bruh. Bro. Why, why do you feel that the sentence needs to start with bro? Because you're a bot. Break out of it. Every bot starts their sentence with bro. And I know a lot of you guys use emojis. I, I do I do like when people drop the fire emoji, but just too many people speaking through emojis too. That, that just feels so childish, speaking through emojis. I don't even know what half your guys' emojis mean. You guys are like write two words and then an emoji. I'm like, what's that even mean? How about write a sentence? How about stop making me think the idiocracy is full on here and totally realized and we're too deep in the game? Jim Atria Sense, thank you again for your ongoing generosity. I posted a sports stream highlights on my channel. Okay, I'll check that out. Appreciate that. If you guys want to check that out, Jamatria Space Sense, S-E-N-S-E. -E. And shout out to Mike Rossin as well. Appreciate, appreciate all the generosity. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. Cheetos, brah. Cheetos and flat screens, brah. Yeah, too many acronyms too, I agree. People just talking in acronyms like, what? Can you just, like, what do you mean? I don't, I don't know your acronyms. All right, you guys, we will leave it there. RIP to Riley Strain. And, you know, every year we're talking about some big death thing on March 22nd in the time of the college basketball tournament. And they better not kill another famous basketball player and have it be a headline today on March 22nd because that'll be the fourth year in a row. Here, let, let me see something real quick. Make sure it didn't already happen and I just haven't seen it.
Well, so far, so far, so far, no, no story like that, which is, it's nice, but the day's still young. Right. Looks like we got, oh, <laughs> this one's suspicious, even though they're 81 years old. Former uh, football player, dead at age 81 on the 81st day of the year. Interesting. All right. But yeah, we have any other big breaking headlines, I'll be sure to cover it. Uh, you know, all day, every day, it's news by the numbers. So there's always things to cover. Republicans revolt after House spending bill passes. Uh-oh. Remember, DC's the 202 area code, you guys. And a lot of skull and bones types in there. It's March 22nd. Remember, George Herbert Walker Bush was number 41, born on the day, leaving 202 days left in the year. His son born 7'6". 149 is the 35th prime. Number 41 was there when JFK, the 35th president, was assassinated on Interstate 35 in Dallas. JFK, of course, born on the 149th day of the year. 149, one more time, 35th prime, like Catholics, 35, like Skull and Bones gets their symbolism from the Templars, who are the old military order of the Catholic Church. That's why the Templar cross is in the Jesuit logo. But yeah, March 22nd's uh, always wild. Trump's about to sell his 47 platform, Truth Social, or not sell it, but it's about to go public and bring in $3 billion? Wow. Puppet Trump, what a story. Remember when Donald Trump didn't post on Truth Social for 47 days and that was a headline? Truth Social's 47, like Trump's 47, like President's 47, like Government's 47, like White House's 47, like Authority's 47, like Republican's 47. Isn't Twitter also, yeah, Twitter's 47. He used to live on Twitter before he created Tr Truth Social. Trump the tweeter. It's all a big joke. Donald Trump runs Truth Social like Mark Zuckerberg runs Facebook, which means neither do. They're both Jesuit puppets on the world stage. Like Jeff Bezos runs Amazon on the 47th parallel. He doesn't. Like Elon Musk, the autistic guy who can hardly put a sentence together, runs SpaceX and, uh, and Tesla. He doesn't. Again, look at, look at how much time he's spending playing video games. Do you think a guy who runs all these companies has all this time to play video games and do podcasts playing video games and live streams doing video games? I mean, God. I, I, as, I, just trying to keep up with this, I don't have time to do anything else in my life. Running all these huge companies and spending all your time playing video games? God, I mean, it's, they just mock humanity. Just like how they always have to tell you, Tesla's always having some big ritual around the anniversary of Nikola Tesla's death. Again, uh, the 78th anniversary of Tesla's death was the day that Elon Musk became the richest man in the world for the first time. Tesla 78, like Jesuit, like Jesuit Trump's about to turn 78, and all the all the fake woke people they, they all think Trump and Elon Musk are here to fight for our freedom. They're, they're not. They're Jesuit puppets on the world stage. Keep you ble believing in false heroes. You know. <laughs> Look at the headline, man. No foul play suspected after college. Isn't it just sick, man? Isn't it just sick? We have to pay taxes to these people that do this to us. No foul play. He's probably got like 50 stabs in his body. He's probably bound. You know, I, you know RIP to... Uh, my high school classmate, one of my wealthiest high school classmates, grew up uh, living along the Columbia River, super wealthy family. I didn't know him very well, even though we were in the same grade. His, uh, his sister was a year older, and, and I was friends with his sister. Her and I were just always in the same classes and, and got along. And Had I had more balls, I, I'm, I'm sure. And she was a grade above me, so I was intimidated. But anyway, I knew his sister well, but... You know, just just the other year, he was found dead at the bottom of the river, and um, we I did a video on this when when the news made it to me, and we just saw what a big old ritual it was. But the police said there was nothing suspicious about his death. He was found at the bottom of the Columbia River, with his hands and feet tied up and weights attached to his body, and the police said there was nothing suspicious about that. I mean, it's just like the, the, the cop on April 19th, the Oklahoma City bombing, Terrence Yankee, the only one who questions, who said things didn't make sense, said he th thought he saw like all kinds of explosive devices all over. 
He gets found bound and tied up and beat up and stabbed a whole bunch of times and it's ruled a suicide by the police. <laughs> and these things stand on the history books. Terrence Yankee's death goes down as a, a suicide. Bound, tied up, beaten up, stabbed several times. Suicide. Putting out songs by the police. Murder by numbers. In 83. This guy gone on 8-3. Last seen by the police. Then found by the police. Nothing suspicious. <laughs> Can you see this small headline over here? Fame ballerina says she was asked to lighten skin. Minute 44 long. Jesuits always with the race rituals. Jesuit fingerprints all over Michael Jackson's death. R.I.P. Today's 201 weeks since Operation Warp Speed, huh? Okay. We'll keep that in mind on old 322. It reminds us that the founder of the Illuminati died 201 days after the anniversary of the Illuminati's establishment, died on November 18th, the 322nd day of the year. Again, 322 is big with Kabbalah. Kabbalah is Jewish mysticism, and Gematria Jewish mysticism equals 201, like the Jesuit order, like order of Illuminati. Adam Weishaupt was a Jewish man who was raised by a Jesuit priest who was a trained Jesuit priest. If you don't know about the history of the Jesuits, a lot of the original members were Jews who converted to Catholicism. That's why Israel, State of Israel 201, was created in a big Catholic Jesuit ritual. Thank you, Paula. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Thanks for gifting the membership. Yeah, uh, again, if you guys do want to support the work, other ways to support in the description. And I just wish one day I'd wake up and be like, look at that. <laughs> I don't know where they all came from, but now we're in business. Now we got some funds to hire some people, get get out. Again, you guys, there, there should be a Gematria Effect news bus going from city to city, 24-7, 365, always driving to where the big action is to try and create the spark in the world to wake up the minds of the masses. Again, just getting herded towards a cliff. Gets closer every day. They got two popular ads running during this March Madness tournament where the lights go out. Telling you to be prepared. Jesuits simulating pandemics. Simulating the next cyber attack that's going to take down the grid. Don't forget the FBI head came out. Do not forget the FBI head came out on January 31st and said a major cyber attack is imminent from China. Again, it's been 10 years since Janet Napolitano stepped down as Department of Homeland Security, saying the next 9-11 is not if but when, and it'll be a cyber attack that takes down the grid for a significant period of time. Of course, Obama just put out the movie about that. Um, it's a reminder, Public Enemies album, What You Gonna Do When the Grid Goes Down, shows Arizona on the cover of their album. That album came out 142 days before Valentine's Day with the blackouts from Houston to Atlanta to Portland. Valentine's Day is 14 slash 2. Arizona's the Valentine's Day state. Of course, we called those blackouts, you know, a couple months before they happened, lining all that up. The album, the history, how it was synced up with Klaus Schwab's uh, cyber attack simulation. And, and that's the thing, too. The uh, That album, What You're Gonna Do When the Grid Goes Down, it came out on the anniversary of JFK's weather control speech, which is September 25th, back in 1961. And... It, it, it was crazy weather that caused the blackouts all over the nation. Super freezing temperatures down in Houston, as you'll recall. Portland and Houston without power for over a week. Atlanta for a few days. So yeah, again, don't live in fear, you guys. But again, the first act of weather warfare admitted to by the Royal Air Force in 1952, 72 years ago now, on the Jesuit Order's birthday, August 15th. Wet weather, weather modification has been a very real thing for a long time. U.S. admitted to it in Vietnam. China just said they were using weather modification to bring snow for the Winter Games the other year. Again, make sure you don't get caught with your pants down if they do pull the switch on your city for a few days or a week. You got to make sure you have water in your house, non-perishable food, things you need in a blackout. Flashlights, if it's still cold where you are. You know, warm clothes. If it's hot where you are, a, a plan to stay cool. Water would be helpful in that regard. Um, but yeah, uh, again, just realize we, we are ruled over by evil people who lie to us every day. And they do do things like kill people. You know, that, that should be obvious. 9-11 should have woke everybody up to that. 
They will kill people to start a war, to enrich their friends, to take away your rights and liberties. They'll sacrifice a, a college student, as they so often do. How about that uh, that girl at Georgia on February 22nd, whose name equals 222? What's her name? Uh, was her name Riley as well? Was it Riley Hope Lakin or something like that? Lakin Hope Riley? Again, that's just been an ongoing fiasco, and then they're using that to bring up the controversy about what's going on at the border. Again, all these things are agendas. It's not that a political party is incompetent. It's just these are all the things they do to keep people divided and fighting amongst themselves but while the rulers maintain their rulership, lying over us every day, lying, lying to us every day, overtaxing us every day. That's the real game people need to see. Gabby Petito, I, I covered a lot of stuff on Gabby Petito. By the way, if you guys just want to, uh, since because of my YouTube channels get deleted and I lose a lot of older videos, my websites are gematriaeffect.news and freetofindtruth.blogspot.com, which I haven't used since 2020, but there's still a lot of posts there, the ones that uh, Google hasn't deleted yet. But yeah, Gabby Petito just it, what, has just been an ongoing number ritual. Just uh, I've been covering all the Gabby Petito stuff since it happened, all the follow-ups. So if you went to my website, I'm saying gematriaeffect.news, and in the search box typed in Gabby Petito, you got a lot to read and get caught up. The Brian Laundry. You know, Gabby talk, um, small talk, right? Petito, small small talk. <sighs> yeah, there, there's a there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff on um, Gabby Petito here. I mean, that's been a, a huge story. So, if there, you guys, I've been here every day for over a decade. So, if there's been a major news story, I, I've definitely covered it. Gabby Petito did the video for Sandy Hook. You know, they even brought the Sandy Hook thing up through Gabby Petito. She was pulled over August 12, 2021. <laughs> Here, I, this this might have been the first video we did on it. They had to show the officer pulling her over at 444 in Sumerian Gematria, killings for 444. And... Again, special numbers 444. You know, Jay Z has that 444 album. In, in uh, this same cipher, rappers 444. Four is associated with death. Um, her body was found in Wyoming, the 44th state. Kills got the 44. Officer execution 44. She disappeared on 19 slash 3, like 193, the 44th prime. Her name, Gabrielle, her actual name, 44. Brian, the boyfriend, 44. The, the, the image of her constantly in the Zion t-shirt. Zion Park. Zion's a big 44. Her hometown, Long Island, 44. I mean, it was just like four overload. And again, four is a big number of death. Wait a minute. Hold up. Let me come back up here. What was what was this thing? Her, oh, her, it was her date of birth. Her date of birth was March 19th. So, yeah, misspoke on this date. Date of birth, March 19th for Gabrielle Petito. Um, she disappeared on September 11th, 30 days after the police video. Police has that gematria of 30. Yeah, I, I, you guys, I, I have so many posts on so many stories. You, you want to go back and, and story that's still on your mind from history's past, just go look it up. <laughs> this, is, this is one of the funniest rituals in the time of COVID. Supposed Sandy Hook first responder dies from COVID, and they show him standing there with a license plate where all you can see is the 56. He died in the year of the dragon, did Patrick Dragon. Or maybe Sandy Hook happened in the year of the dragon. Maybe that's what it actually was. But... Uh, you can see the overlap with the Society of Jesus. That's the Jesuits and Patrick Dragon. You can see the 56 connection. Again, Sandy Hook established in 56. The shooting 56 years later. The uh, the COVID jab went live on the anniversary of Sandy Hook. And the first vaccinated person in America was Sandy Lindsay. And of course, COVID vaccines 56, like coronavirus, like Anthony Fauci, like Gavin Newsom, like how it began 56 years after Trump's Jesuit education at Fordham. 1964 to 2020. Again, Jesuits controlling all this stuff, you guys. Undeniably. Rituals, dates, patterns, 
Same numbers over and over. Shots fired at the school to change the nation. Shots required to change the course of the nation. You know, different types of shots. Then the next year, Steph Curry setting the three-point record over the Connecticut product, Ray Allen, on the anniversary of Sandy Hook and the shots. At the same time, Bill de Blasio was telling people to get their third booster shot. Just jokes upon jokes. Scripted sports, scripted news, scripted rituals every year. Shout out to uh, Rick James again with another gift. Appreciate that, Rick. And thank you to Oscar Garcia one more time. So yeah, anyway, do got to get back to work. Always lots to do. D26 with another observation says, Today is the fourth anniversary of Janata Curfew 201, the first and largest national curfew in India before lockdowns became the new normal. And that just goes with event 201 being the simulation and how important 201 is to the Jesuits and why the first Jesuit Pope lives in suite 201. And Good one, D26. He, he, he's, a, he's our master of finding the new two, 201s. Janata Curfew, huh? Yeah, I remember 2020, we said, watch, there's going to be all kinds of lockdowns by March 22nd, well before it happened. Sure enough, lockdowns going on all over the nation came March 22nd. And that was the 82nd day of the leap year. Remember, COVID has the 82. First case in the world outside of China, Seattle, 82. Biggest beneficiary of the pandemic, Pfizer, 82. 82nd day of the year, lockdowns worldwide for the planned ritual by the cabal that goes by the same old numbers because cabal comes from Kabbalah and Kabbalah is based in the tree of life with three pillars and 22 paths. Shout out to um, Gematria Sense. Just taught door to door. Jehovah's about Genesis 3, 2, 2 and the tree of life. What, what, what did they say? What did they say? Good good for you. Yeah, I, I, when, when religious people come to the door, I haven't had as many since I moved to this small town because it's so small out here. But yeah, it, historically, when religious people would come to the door, I, I'd always love to share with them some knowledge. So. Uh, wrong spread plays. Wrong. The Jesuits did 9-11. That's why two towers became zero before they became one. And yeah, again, the, the Jesuits are a Catholic Jewish alliance. And there is a reason that a lot of people, a lot of you know who's knew not to show up to work that day. But it, it was the Jesuits who carried out the ritual. It, you know, it was all synced up with the CIA. Jesuits have always run the CIA. That's why the CIA was established on the 201st day of the Pope's age. And the words in their logo equal 201, Central Intelligence Agency, United States of America. And it's why their motto, the work of a nation, the center of intelligence is 201. So, yeah. Uh, again, the Catholic Church. We're on their calendar. We're not on. We're not on the Hebrew calendar. If we, if they ran the world, that's whose calendar we'd be on. We're on the Catholic Church's calendar because we're on their time. Notice all the fake truth channels all have the same false talking points. Zionist bankers run the world. Wrong. Zionism's not even that old. Zionism came from the Catholic Church. And again, the original bankers, bankers do run the world, no doubt about that, but don't forget who the original bankers were, the Templars of the Catholic Church. Again, all roads lead to Rome. I, I did, I put, up, I put up a little, um, I put up a little tweet about that last night about how we're that much closer to being swine. Hey, let's not forget, now I did lose a whole channel at the time over covering this. But there's a movie out there called The God Committee. It stars Kelsey Grammer. Remember, he got famous in the show in Seattle, and, and The God Committee came out in the time of the pandemic. But it's about a doctor researching how to genetically modify pig organs to help people get transplants because there's not enough people in the world to receive an organ uh, in, in, in light of how many organs are available out there. There's too many people that need new organs. There, there's too high of a demand compared to the supply. So the movie's about a guy genetically modifying pig organs so that they'll fit in humans and have successful transplants. Remember, from the release day of that movie to the headline about the first successful transplant of a human pig heart or a pig heart into a human, it came 201 days later. And... 
Yeah, literally, guys, I lost my whole YouTube channel for medical misinformation for showing that. And it's like, what? what? Misinformation? I mean, it's facts. And the movie came out 201 days. How, how do I lose my channel over this? And then there's no recourse. You appeal, and then you get an email back, and, and YouTube says, sorry, we reviewed your video, and we, we uphold the strike for medical misinformation. <laughs> okay, I didn't give any medical information. I'm just showing about the ritual and what the 201 means. Here, uh, and then and then we'll see how the guy... I, I want to go back and look at the guy who got the pig heart because I want to say he died 38 days later or maybe he died March 8th or maybe he died on the 38th day of the year. Hold on. What do I need to type in here? Pig heart should probably bring it up. First person to receive gene-edited pig heart dies 60 days after historic transplant. Uh, yeah, he died on March 8th. <laughs> Isn't it sad? But hold on. The God Committee and the first pig heart to human transplant in history. So let, let's go over the 201 and the 60 part of this. The God Committee equals 72 like Jesuit order, like how we got the first Jesuit Pope on the 72nd day of the year, March 13, 2013, Pope Francis. Let's not forget President Biden and President Trump both equal 72. They're both Jesuit educated. On the 72nd day of this year, they were both confirmed as the official nominees for their parties. The God Committee came out on June 20th, right? 20 slash 6, like 206. That's the Seattle area code. Again, Kelsey Grammer was in Fraser in Seattle. This came out in the time of the pandemic, so closely connected to Seattle and Bill Gates. By the way, William Henry Gates, 201, like the Jesuit order, main co-host of Event 201. But from the movie's release June 20th to the first transplant, and this is right from the movie. I mean, this is what the movie's about. 201 days later. And then, again, then the guy dies 60 days after the transplant on March 8th. And the Jesuit order equals 201. The word order alone equals 60. And the Jesuit order began with 60 official members. And let's not forget, we got the 60th presidential election upcoming on the Jesuit day. Remember, remember the 5th of November, Guy Fox Day, when Donald Trump lost his ex-wife when she fell down the stairs and died exactly 60 weeks into the Jesuit Ignatian year. Plus Donald Trump equals 60, the Jesuit. But yeah, it's just the same stuff over and over. March 8th can also be written 8 slash 3. Heart does equal 83. University of Maryland Mer Medical Center where he got it equals 383. I mean, you can see the significance of that in light of him dying on March 8th, 38 or 83. He died where uh, the Johns Hopkins is in Baltimore. And in the Johns Hopkins, founded by a Skull and Bones member, Brotherhood of Death, 83. Well, like, look at this. If you guys don't know this, Daniel Coit Gilman, who, who founded um, Johns Hopkins. Again, he's Skull and Bones member, very famous Skull and Bones member. You see how his name is, 76? His birthday is also July 6th, just like George W. Bush. And again, Skull and Bones, 76, and their monument that was put up on March 22nd. The Georgia Guidestones came down again on Bush's 76th birthday on 7-6, on the 202nd day of the Pope's age. So. Yeah, because people are so trained to believe the authorities, they'll be like, oh, I bet Riley Strain was probably just drunk and just fell in the river. Nothing suspicious. Because that's what the news said. Yeah, we talked about that Phi Delta fraternity where they fit in. I didn't realize Kobe Bryant was in Phi Delta. Kobe Bryant didn't go to college. Are you sure about that? Kobe, I don't know. Uh, you might want to check that on Kobe. Who's dissing the tree of life? I just start reading a person's comments in the chat. Nobody's dissing the tree of life. We're talking about its existence and the meaning and the significance of the numbers in the Bible passage. But honestly, like King Waymaker, I read your comments. First, you make a statement that's not what's going on here. And then your second statement is, you should fear angels. Here's my response to you, King Waymaker. You shouldn't fear anything. Fear is not a helpful thing. Fear is what they want to promote. Religion is pretty much all based in fear. That's how they control people with bullshit. By making them think that something really bad's going to happen to them if they don't agree with the bullshit perpetrated on them by the authorities. 
That tactic is used with religion. That tactic is used with a lot of government things from 9-11 to the pandemic. You know, media always try. I mean, you turn on the nightly news, they're trying to scare you about everything. You could have this disease, this illness, this burglar could be around the car, this cyber attacker could be around the car. Subscribe to this service. Subscribe to this protection service. Put this in your body. Fear, fear, fear. It's like, don't live in fear. Get enough sleep. Eat well. Exercise. Take care of yourself. Stay on your game. Have a protection piece in your house just in case. You know, like I got people trying to scare me all the time. Oh, they're going to come here and do something. They got my address. Come over here, man. I, I, I'm always looking for some target practice. I'm not worried about that. Come to my house. Come to my house, troll. See what happens. You're going to feel the three and a half inch shell. And I'm going to say, well, he, he look, he put the threat out online. He came here saying he was going to do something. So I was just protecting myself. I'll just sign off on the report. Self-defense. You know. Probably going to want a closed casket for this guy over here. He's probably going to need a closed casket. That three and a half inch shell took his fucking head off. So, a a anyway. But yeah, corny people always coming in here with their corny comments. If you're a corny person with corny thoughts in your head, maybe just shut up and maybe just stick around and listen to the things I say. You know? This isn't a bullshit place. Your, your bullshit's not going to pass here. You can go talk to the sheep herd with all your bullshit. They'll listen to you. What we're trying to do oh, over here is undo the sheep herd. We, we see how bad it is out there. We see all these sheep. Did you see what? Did you see? Uh, did you watch the Kentucky game yesterday? Did you see how they spent like five minutes showing all the super depressed Kentucky fans? They were making jokes, the commentators. They're like, uh, I bet a lot of these people booked a hotel for the whole week. They weren't expecting this, man. Oh, my God. Wasted money on the hotel and see this? And, and it's, it's always that way. Again, they do these sports games really to hurt people. 64 hopeful fans at the beginning. One winner. 63 groups hurt. One winner. It's the way the game works. See, look, look at the troll person. What, what do you guys think? Do you think this person just deserves a block? Here's what they come back. Here's the latest comment. Zach, you sound you sound scaring with too many rituals. I, I do typos too, but I, I hope that wasn't your best sentence. Sometimes I got a little typo with the fingers as well. But no, we, we don't do fear over here. You never hear me say fear. You say, you know, just live with your head on a swivel. You know, there are bad people in the world and you want to protect yourself against their next ritual. You don't want their next ritual to catch you with your pants down. That's what I say over here. You get scared because your, your, your body is just full of fear. That's who you are. Religious person, all full of fear. I, I can read you through the screen. Do you think that's a block? We'll give him one more shot. They leave one more dumb comment. It, it will be the block. Yeah, exactly. I mean, and how many things do we call around here? You know? News, sports, markets, breaking it down like nobody else. And because we're so good at it, we get more punished than anyone else. More censorship, more algorithm suppression, more trolls, more harassment. But again, we, we, we don't stop grinding. We're going to keep getting the word out. Yeah, by the way, for the for the troll pack, who's no doubt watching right now and getting all provoked, you know. Here, here, I'll get here, I'll give you guys one shot to come in here and, and tell me why this work again is bullshit. I, I I got a pack of trolls having live streams every day about how this works all coincidence and bullshit and a scam. Come in here and, and tell me like what is a scam? Come here and, and, and tell me how it's a scam. As another thing lands. I, again, exposing how our authorities are killing our young people ritualistically. Something that everybody should know about. Not so that they live in fear that it's going to happen to them, but so they understand this is the nation they live in, and this is why we need to undo the nation we live in. We should not be paying taxes to this corrupt government. All of us are paying way too much in taxes for way too many things that have been sold to us out of fear. And really, it's those things that are doing the most evil things to us. We're paying for the most evil things in our society. I just dropped the link to join the stream. Join the stream. Join the stream if you think this work is bullshit and a fraud.
If you're what see, I get tired of how every time I post a video, the troll pack leaves a comment that's totally disingenuous, and then they all hit it 50 likes, and like almost every video I post has the top two comments or some troll comments trying to attack me or the work. And they're totally false. It's just so annoying, these tactics. And I and then people might be responding and trying to debunk the trolls, but then their comment doesn't even show up. I know how that is, because I'll I'll leave a comment in response, and then my comment's not even there. It's like, oh, so I can't even respond to the troll comment. Just YouTube just instantly deletes my comment. Just We have to have this troll comment with 50-some likes that's uncontested. A new person here will see that and they'll be like, oh, this must be a fraud. Look, that, that's the comment that got all the likes. Yeah, here. Uh, again, for all the trolls screen recording right now and, and who are going to have a live stream about this as soon as I end, why not come in right here? Here's what I hear the troll pack saying every day. Zach keeps trying to make it seem like uh, gematria exists in English when it's only in Hebrew and Greek. Like, uh, isn't the evidence every day that what was in Hebrew and Greek has been encoded into English? Isn't that the same argument we've always been making? This knowledge thousands of years old was clearly put into the English language and set up as a system in sync with the calendar in the 16th century, the century of the Jesuits. Hasn't that always been the argument? You know, when I first started the work in 2013, it wasn't quite that connected, but it was like a year or two later, that was the conclusion that the Templars had brought back all this knowledge after the Crusades. And then by the 16th century, this system was put in and, and this is what's going on. I don't understand how you can keep making a dumb argument that's, it's not Hebrew or Greek, so it doesn't matter. It's like, okay, so what? Well, your argument is you choose to disregard all the proof we lay down every single day for over a decade. You think that's a winning argument? Come on, come on and lay down that argument right now. Let's see how it sounds when it gets smoked. You know? Uh, I also hear the troll pack saying, like, they're just trolls, right? But every day they're talking about how lazy I am. All Zach wants to do is just sit on his ass and make videos. Do you think this is easy to do, to get up every day and decode the news and put it all together historically in a seamless timeline and present it correctly? And then also decode all the sports every day? And help people win money like nearly every single day. It's not very often we have a losing day. We'll have some 50, 50 days here and there. We have a lot of big winning days. Yesterday in hockey. How are we doing yesterday in hockey in the 11 games? Did we get 10 right and 1 wrong? How are we doing in the tournament? We started off hotter. We finished 11 and, 11 and 5 in the tournament yesterday. And, and most of the losses were, were chasing bigger dogs. Which we didn't say bet the house on. But we said they were dollar parlays. Um, again, I mean, what we're doing. This isn't easy. Listening to uh, trolls who work at gas stations and, and can't hold down a job as a waiter talk about how this isn't work. You guys, it's the 21st century. It's the information age. The most valuable thing in the world is information. We're working in the realm of information. The most valuable thing there is. You guys are sitting there being like, a real job is getting behind a cash register and putting 20 on pump five. You know, I'm hearing Troll literally go every day. I have to go stand behind a counter and, 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 and sell people peanuts and, and put 20 on pump five. That's a real job. Call in here and let's see how that sounds. You, you think that's harder work than what I do? Anyone can stand behind a cash register and, and hit 20 on pump five. I had a job like that when I was 16 years old. That's what I did when I was 16. You're 40. You're what? How old are you? You're in your 40s. You're in your 40s doing what I did when I was 16. You don't have a college education. You don't have a master's degree. You know what? You know you know why I'm good at what I do? Because I've always worked my ass off. Because I have a real work ethic. That's why I get up every day and grind all day long. Get up early, grind all day long. Take care of my body. Take care of my mind. Take care of my lady. Help take care of the world. Put out knowledge. Come on here, trolls. Let's hear you guys talk about hey, Let's hear the two of you guys. Gas station attendant and a guy who can't hold jo down a job as a waiter. Talk about how this isn't work. God. Notice that they're watching right now, the people I'm talking to. They're both watching, but they won't come in here. But they're going to go do a stream together in five minutes. They'll be streaming together talking about how, you know, I'm frauding people. Yeah. I actually helped a lot of people win a lot of money yesterday, is what we helped them do. At, like we do day after day. So we do day after day. It's not fraud. What's fraud is saying something that's true is, is false. That's fraud. What you guys do is fraud. 
Well, the reason that, the reason we want to give people like this time is because don't they represent humanity? Really, these two trolls represent where the masses are. You know, because isn't the majority of the world denying this work and thinking it's all a coincidence and it's all bullshit and it's all just conspiracy theory nonsense? So really, these two guys represent the world. And like I said, I mean, the world is full of short bus riders and no doubt both of these guys are. But uh, again, maybe some fellow short bus riders watching these guys get their asses hand to them might make them realize like, oh, wait, maybe he's not wrong. Well, plant girl for life, what I am talking about are things that are true, aren't I? Ranting about the way humanity is, is also true. So uh, again, I, I, hope it, I hope it connects with some people who are out there realizing that maybe I'm talking about people like them and they need to snap out of it. Uh, I don't disrespect people of different cultures. I disrespect religion and authority. That's what I disrespect. You know, you can choose you can choose to get offended uh, because of what I said about religion. That's your choice. You don't have to get offended. I, I, I maintain that I'm correct. Religion is the biggest problem in the world. Religion is forced on children at a young age. It makes them believe instead of think, and it makes them operate from a place of fear. Believe the authorities or else. That is the, the single thing that's done to almost everybody that makes them go through life believing the authorities or else. So if that offends you, I, I just say the truth offends you. I'd say that's your problem. And, and, and that is the problem. You know, people are so easily offended. They, they can't get over their ego. They can't get over all the false indoctrination that they've been made a part of. And then they get mad at me. Sorry. Uh, again, look, I mean, almost all of my attackers are also religious people. Almost all the people who made videos trying to slander me have been religious people. They've done it in the name of their religion. Zach is an antichrist taking you away from Jesus. How am I taking you away from Jesus? No one's ever seen him. That's like saying I'm taking you away from, away from Where's Waldo. I'm taking you away from the Bernstein Bears. I'm taking you away from Cinderella, Mickey Mouse, whatever your favorite cartoon character is. They all have a commonality because they're all characters in a book. Okay, that's the bottom line. And if that offends you, I don't care. I don't care because you can't admit the truth. They're all characters in a book. The only reason you believe so much and say Jesus is because you were told at a young age that if you don't believe, you will not get the eternal afterlife. You might go to hell and be punished in the hot, smoky place. God doesn't write books. God never came down to you and gave you the name Jesus. I mean, turn on Fox News. All of these guys who are worth hundreds of millions of dollars selling Jesus to the sheep. Do you see the stuff they advertise now? Uh, what's his name? Um, he's the son of the his dad who died recently. He, he, he's promoting on Fox News a website that you can go to and find out if you're going to heaven or hell right now. <laughs> it's like, oh, come on, man. A website to know if you're going to heaven or hell right now. And you know it's just going to be like checking the criteria in the Bible. But this stuff is trash. Uh, this stuff is just nothing but crap. And uh, what, what did Jesus say about the rich and, and making it into heaven? So he's probably going to hell too, the guy who's promoting that website. He's super rich. So by default, he's almost certainly going to the hot smoky place. So it's fine. You can believe this. Like, I don't care if you believe this. I don't care if you believe that Jesus is the son of God. That's fine. You can believe that. And you could be right. I'm not saying I'm, a, I, I can't know for sure that I'm right. I'm not saying that I know for absolute certain that J Jesus wasn't the son of God and he came to earth. I'm just saying it's highly unlikely. It's a story from a book. It's a story b based on other religions that came before it, including Mithraism, which is the old religion of of Rome before Jesus. You know, like the Mithra thing must have got debunked, so they're like, hey, let's just switch it up. It's actually Jesus now. Okay, let's see if we can get him with the Jesus. But, um, 
Yeah, I, I do think there's a creator. I do think there's a creator. I pray. Understand, I am a spiritual person. Um, I, I think, like I would say, the, the most important teaching in all religions is the golden rule. Everyone should live by the golden rule. Treat other people the way you want to be treated. You know? that Everyone who comes here and harasses me violates the golden rule. Here I am a person putting out all this work for free for all these years to wake people up and then people come here and attack me. It's like, well, why do you need to attack me? If you don't like what I'm saying, just go to another YouTube channel. You know, did you get up today and do all this research and present all this to try and help your fellow man? Uh, no, but you're mad at the fellow man who did. <laughs> and then, oh, you're mad at me in the name of Jesus. Oh, wow, this is getting even weirder because Jesus said, turn the other cheek and forgive. Aren't those some of the primary teachings of Jesus? Again, all these religious people don't even know their own religion. It's just a bunch of conformists. It's a sheep herd. Oh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a Christian. I never read the Bible. I never read one verse in the whole thing, but I'm a Christian because I, I caught the wind of if I don't believe in this, I, I don't get the eternal afterlife. I'm just in it for the eternal afterlife and claiming I'm part of something I know nothing about. That's 99% of Christians I've ever met in America. So, But I, I, again, I understand. I also say read the Bible, right? I've also told people to read the Bible because the Bible is the Illuminati's playbook. The, the Cabal gave us the Bible as we know it, and that's why they use all the numbers from the Bible, like Genesis 3, 2, 2, in these ongoing rituals. 22 paths, three pillars, tree of life, 22-year-old found dead in the river on 3, 2, 2. It's like a satanic baptism. Yeah, Jesus is Jupiter Zeus. I mean, it's just obvious where the name came from. Old Jupiter Zeus. <laughs> like, Kingway, I just get annoyed reading your comments. Kingway, here's what I know about you. You're an ignorant person who makes dumb statements. Okay? That's who you are. That's who you are. See, I make attacks once, once I know it's fair. Kingway Maker, were you here in the beginning? Were you here in the beginning for the early years of my work where I got attacked from everybody and I never even ever responded? I didn't respond for like years. I just kept doing the work. But then eventually I realized what had happened. All these people were leaving comments like, Zach never addresses all these things said about him, so it must be true. It must be true. And you know what? There's a lot of people in the world who know my name but have never even watched my work because they learned about my name from bigger channels who claim to be Christians, who you don't know their faces. I'm talking about the Call for an Uprisings, the Russian vids, the Nicholson 1968s. You don't know any who any of these people are. They all are from behind the screen and claim to be Christian. They've all made videos about me slandering me countless times. That information's gone out to millions of people who then just come here and attack me and know nothing about me. So please, just all, all I read from you is just one ignorant comment after the next. I, I do attack people for being dumb and incompetent because there are a lot of them, and, and I'll attack you for that because you're demonstrating that's who you are, a fearful religious person who doesn't know what they're talking about, just an ignorant moron regurgitating shit they heard from shills. So suck it up and accept the facts because what I just said are facts. All right, we got to leave it there. I got somebody at the door, True Seeker. Till next time.